Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. After all this work with the product reviews and knife design, I thought it is time for another badass project involving plywood. And I was looking for a proper project and I found these here. These are like little CO2 BB guns, very inexpensively, that I bought like a year ago to make like a, a Gatling rotating one that had six of them clamped in. And it was actually fun, and they, but ever since then uh, there was nothing I could really do with it, even though they're just not so bad. So uh, the BB gun Ingram, let me show you its features. So this looks like an Ingram, but it really isn't. I mean, all this is just fake and doesn't really work. What it does have is it does have a magazine for like 39 BBs. And uh, you can also put the CO2 cartridge right in there. And CO2 cartridge lasts, lasts for, for about two magazine fields. So it's not that bad. And then you can even have more magazines and just exchange them just like in a real Ingram. <laughs> and also, of course, it has some disadvantages. Uh, first of all, yeah, it does have some kind of a folding stock here. Okay, so you can clap this open and pull this out. But it really doesn't help because how can you aim? I mean, if you press this against your shoulder, you know, you would have to get it as high as here so you can press it against your ear. That's not really helpful. <laughs> and so basically what you do is you just do spray and pray. So you aim with it just like with a garden hose because you can see the little BBs in flight and that's how you aim. <laughs> well, it is fun and it is inexpensive and actually shooting BBs with CO2 is one of the cheapest ways to spend an afternoon shooting lots of rounds. And it's also silent and everything. The only thing that it's not is just not badass enough for this channel. So I've been thinking about how can I make these really badass. So let me show you my ideas. Basically, my idea is to just take two of them and mount them side by side and then attach a rear stock that really makes it possible to press it against your shoulder and give you an aiming device. And of course, a reset trigger that makes it possible to fire both at the same time so that you have two shots per pro tr trigger pull. That is the basic idea. Can it be done? It can. <laughs> Let me show you what I came up with. The double shot BB gun. <laughs> Let me show you its features. <laughs> so I didn't change the guns at all. The only thing is, is I did is I just removed this one screw that holds the upper and the lower uh, receiver together. And then I just put a whole screw to mount them side by side. And I simply clamped out the little buttstock and used the holes for it, for the joints, for another screw here. So that they are firmly mounted together. And then what I did is I just installed like a center trigger. You can see it here. And um, the, the trigger really is only a piece of wood that, you know, just pushes this back like so. Very simple. And then what I did is I attached like a soft air rear AR-15-ish stock, which is of course adjustable. And I also put on a red dot sight, just so that you can aim. And now this is just very comfortable, like so. <laughs> So, uh, and it's actually fairly accurate, if you keep in mind the BB guns are not super accurate. So let's see if on the 10 meter distance, or maybe that's just 9 meters or so, I can hit a dog food can. <laughs> I obviously can! <laughs> let's inspect the damage! Yeah, as you can clearly see, we have penetration. All three cans are actually perforated. Now, of course, we want to see how the wound canal works. And I know because when I first got these guns, I accidentally shot into my pinky. So I know that they do penetrate flesh, although not very deep. So inspect, you know, we can expect some little penetration, but it should give us a chance to see how far the pellets are when they arrive. So ballistic gelatin test. Oh, empty. <laughs> So 
So we can clearly see that we did hit the ballistic gelatin and also that there was some penetration about this much and it actually makes sense if you keep in mind that there is no skin. Skin definitely is a resistance factor but you can see how deeply they penetrated. Quite nice wouldn't you think? Just for calibration purposes we're going to shoot the adder with the Venom Extreme 190 pound bow limb and we're going to shoot some broadheads like these ones here and also the Edge Tech 200 broadheads. Let's see what they do to the same ballistic gelatin. And this is of course an experimental adder where I added a siege cocking lever and it's also having the seven shot original EK Archery magazine. Just want to check it out. And it doesn't have a red dot so I have to use iron sights, quote unquote. <laughs> okay. Whew. I think it went clean through. Another clean through. Whoa. As you saw for the Venom uh, 190 pound limb set in these broadheads, ballistic gelatin is just not a suitable backstop. <laughs> they just go straight through and are very deadly even at the exit side. Okay, so we have enough power for one more magazine for each gun and we will now test to empty them into the ballistic gelatin just because we have that block here. And uh, the final shots will be a bit weaker I guess. So let's go. Okay, that was it, empty. <laughs> Just a word regarding the legality of this thing. Um, you know, these are still completely unchanged guns and they have the F certification for Germany. Um, and also, of course, now people may say I've built a new one and then it's exceeding seven and a half joule. It's not true because each one of these guns has about three and a half joule. So even together, even if you would count them together, they're not exceeding the seven and a half joule limit. They're really not a toy. I mean, I don't want to be hit by one, but they're also really not a super dangerous weapon, but absolutely fun. So what do you think? Have I mastered the challenge to make these little guns more badass? I think I have because so much fun and they look so awesome. Remind me a little bit on a Tommy gun. What do you think? <laughs> anyway, I hope you like this because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye. Ha ha ha! Clean them all! Strike! <laughs>